How's it going everyone? It's Daikin Sonny here bringing you another Melt Your Blood type Lumina video and today we're going to be talking about how to choose your main character within the game. I'm going to be going over every single character and what they bring to the table so you can understand their tools and better assess what character you want to play within the game. So let's go ahead and get started. So right off the bat we're going to be talking about Arcwade. So Arcwade is going to be your standard rushdown character but also has some pretty decent space control as well and some uh, unique ways to get in. So she has this really good JB. This button is very good inside the air. Um, it covers a lot of space, is multi-hit, so it's pretty easy to confirm and stuff like that. She's going to have also one of the uh, fastest run speeds you'll see. Like, she is extremely fast on the ground, as you can see. Once she starts going, she starts moving. Uh, she has this Rekka series as well. Now, after the first hit of the Rekka, it becomes uh, less safe. You can take the last hit and make it an overhead by pressing the back button. Once again, these follow-ups are all unsafe after the first one. So after the first one, uh, you can get punished if you uh, decide to do it. But you can delay them pretty long. Um, so you can put a nice delay between them to try to catch your opponent off guard. So that's something you can utilize. Uh, she has this elbow series as well. So with the elbow, uh, if you hit with it, especially on counter hit, you can get a confirm from it. And also, this version right here, the medium version, you can pick up for combos if you're near the wall. So something like this is possible. So you can do stuff like that because it sort of like bounces them off the wall a bit. So near the corner, you can get confirms off of it. And of course, when you're in the corner and use this, you just straight up just get confirms as well so very very strong tool and on top of this if you use the medium version it sort of puts them airborne like that so they can jump uh which you can definitely chase if you see it but if they land on the ground uh you are actually plus so when they land you're actually plus if you do this version so she can create her own plus range from that talking about some other noticeable tools of this character she has an unblockable so if you charge her 5c uh this is an unblockable attack so they have to either jump away from this in time uh hit you out of it or uh shield it so they can't they can't block this at all and then she has a overhead which is her charge 5b and of course you can use this to pick up for combos as well so she's gonna have pretty standard tools like i said she's gonna have dp in the record series uh she's gonna have pretty da uh, fast dash speed so she can also combo off her throw so running up and doing fast tick throws and then picking it up for combos is gonna be something that's unique for her um, something like that. I don't really know the arcway combos, but you get the idea. She can combo off her throw as well. So tackle all that stuff on top of her fast dash speed and like, you know, the ability to like be fast and mobile, trying to fish for the hits, close the distance pretty well, use elbows to get in and stuff like that. Um, to try to get count the fish for counter hits because if you do counter hit with this, you do get combos. Um, you could use it in combos as well, like for stuff like this. So she get little juggles with it as well. Uh, pretty easy combos for this character, I'm uh, pretty safe. So she's pretty standard, pretty easy to pick up, and seems very strong with her tools. So Noelle is going to be a very fast and versatile character. So right off the bat, you're going to know she has a very fast dash speed. Uh, she has a pretty good jump button JB. Uh, this is going to allow you to actually hit uh, people from behind. So she can actually uh, do cross-up attacks with it, even without turning around. So very strong. Uh, one of the few normals that I know that can actually do that within the game. Uh, she has a very good back dash that goes very far very quickly uh, as you can see she covers a lot of distance uh, to put herself at spacings like this because she has a projectile so projectiles like this for her are going to be very good these are going to allow her to uh you know just throw out multiple she can like stagger it and she got a full screen super that she can firm off of but this full screen super is also good for stopping your opponents from throwing projectiles back at you because it is a full screen super so you can react to things that they're doing and it allows you to get a confirm and stay right in her face. As you notice, when the super ends, she's just right in your face. So, uh, very good for that. She also has very uh, unique mobility options. So, she has this, like, wall cling. And she can, like, throw throw things off of it. She can throw the projectiles off of it, as you can see. She also has a DP, just like Arcade, a 2-2. So, also very good uh, for people that try to cross you up. They can't cross you up because you have this type of uh, DP. Uh, she has this move right here this move is going to be your safest pressure uh string right here so you do this in pressure um this is going to be the thing you want to do and if you counter hit with this you can actually pick this up with a combo on counter hit if you're staggering it within her pressure so on top of you know the fast speed she has the projectiles like i said uh, she also has a sort of like a demon flip um that has a follow-up with it now it's not an overhead but it is going to be a safe follow-up. So you can do this and be safe. Uh, she has a command grab from it as well. She also can throw the projectiles from it too. 
So you can throw projectiles from it. You can do it from either one of them because she has the one that clings to the wall. So you can cancel that early into fireballs like that. So if you want to do pressure, get away and then like cling to the wall, like stuff like that. So she has very unique ways to like distance herself pretty easily without the opponent having like having a good way to like get near her um because she can do stuff like that so very unique options that she definitely has now aki is pretty much going to be like the set play character of the game so she is going to be able to knock you down and set up this pinwheel like this and then go for mix-ups behind that so that's going to be a very strong point of this character she can also do a variation of it within the air if you save one of your air dashes she could just do it from there just like this and then you have to block that while she's coming at you with the air dash because she's still gonna have her air dash left and then she can like go for mix ups from there because she has a uh, you know she has multiple overheads she could do um she could go for empty jump low she also has a command grab super that she also get combos from so it just does like a little swirl and then she actually picks it up for the combo and uh you can start your pressure from there or start your confirm from there and then try to reloop the same situation so you can get another mix up opportunity now some more interesting things about the character because she has this 214a series this is going to give her an overhead that she can also utilize now she's not going to get the plus frames that she used to get before but it is going to be a safe overhead as you can actually do and because you can also still special cancel into ex in this game you can do pressure and then go straight into that and have two of them on your opponent um pretty cool you can do stuff like that and then you can do this to basically get a free mix up on your opponent as long as you have a bar and meter and you can start to go for something from like that so she has a lot of different opportunities to do things like that she does have this like anti-air move too uh, that you can utilize um it doesn't have invo though so it's not actual dp unless you do the actual ex version then that will be her invincible wake up now hitsu and kahaku is a very interesting character you can almost compare them to like a puppet character as far as with the way they work uh so one is going to have the lead which you can switch the lead by pressing down down into d and then you could be the other character so yes there are two complete move sets for each character that you should know uh that you need to know to play this character so it's a little bit more advanced than other characters because obviously you got to know uh both move sets for the different leads that you have in uh place now also they can command their uh sister so they all have different uh attacks so there's the that there's that one and then there is this attack right here and if we switch leads you got a bunch of different attacks too so you have this you have the uh, chair and then you have this overhead that she can do yes that one's actually an overhead um now there's another unique one that it could do uh so she has this move right here this 4b um now when you press this and you actually use it with the plant it actually changes the plant into a big plant you water the plant and it just starts coming at you and you have to deal with it uh so pretty it's a pretty funny situation but it's one of the things they could do so you pretty much what you want to do with this character is you want to be able to like get them in a situation where you can almost sandwich them and keep the pressure going uh with stuff like this so once you knock them down and stuff you can also just set up um certain things like this because they have to deal with it so certain things are stronger especially with one of the other leads uh this is going to be a very strong tool for knockdown so he's lead is going to allow you to actually have a strong knockdown now you can also uh use these plants as well because it's part of her moveset you can use these in conjunction with her own moveset so you can do it on her own knockdown as well um, and you can start going for things too so you can do stuff like this do that make her go for the overhead and then you jump in and stuff so there's a lot of different things you could do and like i said you can um make the opponent go behind uh, one of the easiest ways is with kohaku's like little uh move where she goes in the air and then you can start actually you know doing different commands and stuff to actually get them to do things so it's very fun it's very chaotic when it happens but so if you want to play a character that can like you know keep the pressure going and sort of confuse your opponent with the amount of options that you can actually utilize then this may be definitely the character for you all right so shiki tono so he's going to be a pretty standard character as far as how he play uh he has the unique ability of double backdash though he has this ability he has a run in this game as well he also has a very short backdash he doesn't really cover that much space especially with dash momentum you see stays right in your face very good for uh doing stuff like this so if you want to go for like quick overhead from the backdash you can do stuff like that a uh, pretty standard jump buttons ja uh jb could be also used as air to air also good air to ground and of course his jc is definitely going to be a good air to ground now he has also an unblockable attack which is charge 5c so you can't do anything you can't special cancel it. you can't moon drive cancel it or anything you can't uh heat cancel it it's just going to be a blockable attack so you just get a nice little chunk of damage when you hit with it and that's going to be that it can't be shielded though 
Um, but besides that, it can't be blocked. So they either have to get out of the way or they have to shield it. He also is going to have access to a DP. So just standard DP uh, that he has. Uh, the B version is going to have Envo. He can also do it in the air. So he could do it in uh, combos like such. So he could do it in combos as well. It's not going to give him a hard knockdown. But he could definitely do it in combos if you want to. Then he's also going to have the pretty safe special moves, I must say. Uh, his 2 3 6 theory is going to be pretty safe. The B version actually gives him a combo. Uh, so he could get a combo from this, which is nice. Then he has the slide attack uh, and it has a follow up. And when you do the follow up on hit, you can actually jump cancel it for a combo as well. So also pretty good. He also has other special moves, but the cool thing about it is it's actually tied to his arc drive. So once he hits you with his arc drive, he gains access to moves that were like previous known to Nania. So he has this uh, overhead teleport attack, which gains invo during a certain amount of uh, during a certain part in his uh, startup frames. Then he also has his dash through, so he could use the dash through in combos. So you get the idea on that. And then of course he has the uh, famous slashes that he could do. So you could do that as well. And uh, you could use that into um, into other things as well. Like uh, another super. So now it's time to talk about Coma. So Koma is going to be the armor command grab character of the game. So he's going to be a little bit slower on the ground than some other characters. So that's just going to be one of the things with him. Uh, he has pretty standard uh, jump buttons. So uh, jump A, jump B, uh, both uh, going to be like more air to air approach. His JC charged up is going to have armor on it. So this is the one you're definitely going to be using a lot uh, against people. Um, both in the air and uh, trying to hit people on the ground and stuff like that. Just because of the armor. Now, when it comes to his actual uh, normals, some of his normals have armor attached to him as well. Uh, so his 2C uh, charge is going to have armor. And then, of course, his 5C is going to turn into an armored command grab when you actually charge it as well. Talking about some of his special moves, he does have a Rekka. So he has this. Um, the last hit, he can make into an overhead, I believe. And then, of course, he has the armored command grab that he can utilize as well. So he uses it anytime. And then he can choose where he wants to throw you. So if you press the back button, he will throw you to the opposite side as like that. And if you are in the corner and you do that, then he can pick it up for a combo as such. So he could definitely do stuff like that. And then of course, if he wants to as well, he can even spend super meter to just do damage from it as well. So if he wants to do the damage, if he has you over here and he wants to get some extra damage from it, then he can keep you in the corner and get some extra damage from it and keep you in the corner like that rather than throwing you to the other side where he can't get a combo because he's not uh, near corner on the opposite side. On top of all of this, he also has a DP option. So he has a DP and of, cor of course he has two <laughs> invincible supers. So he has the 214C, which is going to be involved for him, for him. And then he's going to have the 22C, which is going to be a invincible super that gives him hyper armor. So basically you can't hurt him when he's doing this as you see i'm just hitting him as long as he has the armor up he will not move he will take damage but he won't get staggered by and he could just start hitting you at the same time you're hitting him and you will get counter hit because he has the hyper armor on so very strong tool set for sure so if you want to play a character that got a bunch of command grabs that can definitely uh beat people that are trying to use shields a lot uh because shields is very strong in this game so you want to be shields in a very uh, satisfying way, then this is definitely the character for you with a bunch of command grabs and armor to do so. So Noel is going to be a great mid-range fighter with some easy meter confirms in the neutral situations. So she's going to have the ability to use these keys as you can see as stocks. The unique thing about these keys is, of course, they are stocked and of course, you can dash cancel them. On top of this, you can actually do them in a series like that. So if you actually are doing it in a block string and you do two of them like that, you can actually make it plus. So for spending two of them, you can make it plus and basically reset the situation for more pressure for you. She also has a couple of unique tools when it comes to her special moves as well. So she has this like overhead right here. If she hits with this pretty slow, but if you do get a hit with it, you will get a combo opportunity. She also has a restand. So this right here will restand the opponent. So there are combos you can do with this character. Uh, that will knock the opponent down to the ground. And you could go for a restand situation like that. Now, what you would do off the restand uh, depends totally up to you. You can go for a throw. So if I want to do this, go for a tick throw. If I want to just reset the pressure situation and start going with lows like that, you can cast them with that. 
or you can start to try to be a little bit gimmicky uh once you know they're going to try to take a throw you can start doing stuff like acting like you're going to run up throw and then go for an overhead and stuff like that so you can really mix it up with what you're going to do with those options and of course the restand is a little bit scary because they don't know exactly what you're going to do with it now talking about her normals a little bit more as far as the mid-range goes she does have pretty good buttons as far as that goes so her 2b is going to be a two hitting move uh, as you can see the first hit actually is a hit but you can actually just use the second hit as a poke a very long range grounded poke and you can confirm this into this super because the super actually can be dash canceled as well so you can actually get a confirm of that so any of these hits uh can be confirmed into her super uh as such um even her 2c as well so uh, this is going to be a long range sweep for her uh this move right here pulls in a little bit so you can actually use this in conjunction with her 22a for the overhead or you can use this in conjunction with uh, other things uh such as like a rebeat um or you could like try to be cheeky and go for like a throw uh something like that uh once again you have the overhead as well or you could do uh this now this move also has other follow-ups so you can do the a version has this follow-up and the b version has a bunch of follow-ups like this with the final hit being an overhead that the opponent actually has to block so she has a decent amount of overheads inside of her moves to keep the opponent on their guard and she has a bunch of tools to keep herself a plus as well with the uh, keys and stuff keep in mind this is a limited resource though but they do come back every round so you will have 10 starting at every round no matter what happens either you win a round or you lose a round you will start off with 10 every round so Vlov is going to be a mid-range monster and zoner of the game so this character has unique ability of having two different movesets based on his win and loss so if he lose a round then he will go into ice mode but he starts in fire mode so we're going to talk about fire mode first and then talk about ice mode so he has a pretty good zoning tools and the unique thing about it is he can use them in concession so he has an a version which is like one that goes like forward and he has one that goes up which is the b version now he can use them in concession is what i'm saying so he can use the a and then go into the b and he will be able to cover both the ground and in the air you do the same thing in the other direction so you can cover the air and then cover the uh, ground now you'll notice that there's slightly two different angles because he's not getting hit by this one but if i do the normal one he gets hit by it. so you notice it'll cover a slightly different angle but it will still cover a little bit more of that lower approach that you missed before uh same thing with the actual succession of if you do this and you do this one uh it doesn't cover the exact same angle covers a little bit more higher above him um now when you do both of them in the exact same time you'll notice that they cover a slightly different angle every time so as you see uh this one doesn't actually go straight again it goes a little bit more upwards for the second one so it's a bunch of different angles that he can actually cover with these special moves also if you do it in the air he actually can jump cancel these uh now he can only jump cancel when you do one if you do both he has to hold the recovery so doing one is going to be the best thing for you if you want to cover uh different angles and speaking of the air he has different angles he cover in the air as well so this one goes more down and then you could do one that goes a little bit more straight and of course they're going to cover different angles when you uh change them from the b and a and a and b version so just keep that in mind uh but once again if you do both of them you will have to hold the entire recovery rather than doing it um doing one of them and then being able to jump cancel that to make yourself a little bit more safe now he's also going to have the 2-2 two two, uh 2-2 two, two series which is going to be this uh full screen uh, attack as you can see so it's gonna be a full screen attack uh it takes a little while to, a little while to get there uh the thing about the ice mode is his attacks are a little bit faster so that's something to keep in mind as well uh now the second hit of it is going to be a low so you can delay the second hit a little bit and you can actually go into a low um whenever you choose and then of course if he hits with it he can uh pick it up for a combo uh so that's pretty cool that you could do that and then of course he has his Rekka series which is going to be his 214a so it has uh three follow-ups to it so the first follow-up is just a couple of slashes the second follow-up is going to be this down slash and then he has the actual uh attack part for the last hit which is going to be that now if you hold this attack it will actually turn into a command grab And he can also pick it up for a combo. By the way, I messed up. It's not actually a hold. It's going to be a back. So you just hold back for the last uh, portion. And then you can get the actual command grab to come out for the last portion of it. So you can mix up between doing the final hit or actually going for the command grab. So on top of his actual zone, he just has pretty good normals. He has amazing air-to-air -air buttons with this JB. Uh, his JC is going to be a good air-to-ground button. His JA is pretty standard, but this JB is also just very good in the air for sure. 
a uh, pretty good ground button as well very very long reaching normal so uh this 5b a uh, 2b nice range on that 5c amazing uh very very amazing spacing button and of course this 2c is going to be pretty huge as well he has some pretty good buttons and of course he has this 6c his 6c can be charged and become an overhead as well so he has access to an overhead that he can get combos off of as well on top of all his zoning so let's talk about his ice mode next so his ice mode is going to be pretty much similar to what we saw before so he can cover different angles and you could do two of them so if i want to cover two like that i could do two or i could do uh one and it goes in the air i could do two that goes in the air i could go one that covers the ground um same thing uh cover different angles when you do them in the air as well so i could do that then cover more of a ground approach cover both of the air you can cover many different angles and they're extremely fast uh same with this as you can see this is way faster when it comes to like actually coming over there to you um so increased speed on his special attacks which is nice and he also on top of this has a full screen um drive so if we showcase this so he can basically do full screen confirms and then run up for pressure because of the actual hard knockdown that you get during the situation so very very strong that he actually has that on top of all the tools he has with the spacing and all that he seems like a pretty strong character also just just to notice uh his auto attack do have this like anti-air move with it as well so uh i've seen people using this as anti-air it seems pretty good too uh he gets some pretty good confirms off of it so now it's time to talk about michael roa so while he doesn't have the best mix up he does make up for it with his excellent ground game and pressure structure so He's going to have the ability to basically keep the ground occupied with lightning uh such as the horizontal and um diagonal lightning now he could change interchange them like this so you can like make sure he do one into the other the one thing about them unfortunately now they aren't air unblockable so you can block them in the air however his lightning uh dash through is still going to be air unblockable so you cannot block this in the air just to showcase that i have my opponent holding back um, if I try to, if they try to block it, you will get a hit. And if you hit with uh, the B version, for sure, I know you get a combo off of it. So he gets combos uh, when you hit with it because it pops them up in the air uh, as such. So you get a combo off of it, which is good. But unfortunately, the lightning isn't going to be like that. However, he has the ability to now create his own plus frames with the charge version. So if you have them in the corner, pressure in the corner, you can start utilizing this uh once you have your opponent scared of your pressure with this character so that is something very good for him as well as you can make this plus right here so this attack right here uh is spa uh, spaced out correctly this attack can actually be plus for roa um it has to be at the, like a right distance so once you start understanding the distance of where this thing has to be you'll start to see that this thing can definitely be hard to deal with so not only can he like anti-air you with this like lightning thing that's really fast and of course if you get counter hits with it because you're doing something he can stop you and of course he has these as well now the unfortunate part is these are kind of hard to actually get a confirm off of he has to spend meter or a uh, moon drive to get confirms however he does have two full screen supers one being a uh, ex super and another being his uh arc drive so we showcase that pretty good super for confirming these type of situations into some pretty good damage for him so not only is he going to have pretty good pressure uh with his like normal stuff like that because he has some pretty good pressure um he has pretty high damaging combos uh to say at least as far as his combos go because because of the loops and stuff he could do so he has some pretty damaging combos from what i've seen and he also has uh the 60 move which is uh an overhead low he also has a dp which we didn't talk about he has a dp that you can utilize so on top of everything uh, that he has as far as the space control so once the opponent actually gets in on you or you didn't get your way in or something like that you have a get off me tool uh with his dp as well okay so miyako is a fun one to talk about so she's going to be your rush down character in the game so she's going to have pretty stubby normals at the at close glance as you can see she's not going to really have a bunch of range when it comes to her uh normal same with her air normals um not much range uh you know this is a good air to ground this button right here is a good cross up it actually a uh, cross up so you can do stuff like this pressure cross up with this button and uh yeah start things from there so very cool button to mess around with now talking about uniqueness of this character she has a couple of things that are unique to her uh right off the bat she has a unique ability of dashing through you from her run so if you press the dash button while you're already running at the opponent 
you will get a dash through that's in that's involved so you can dash through the opponent uh as such pretty cool thing that they actually added um for her also she has a bunch of things like a charge super uh not a lot of people have something like this uh this is a full screen uh charge super so you can see it uh it hits everything uh when you charge it they bounce up higher um and yeah so you get more damage from it and it also allows you to do more combos and stuff like that now talking about her special moves and what makes this character so neat is she has a bunch of cool different things to mess around with around the bat we'll talk about her 236 series so this has a bunch of follow-ups uh so there is the standard follow-up which is, is going to be the uh shoulder tackle uh this actually wall bounces so you can get a combo of this uh then there is going to be the dash through so you can actually have this as a follow-up opportunity as well so if they're blocking you uh then you do this this is something you want to do as well then there is her low follow-up so the low follow-up is going to just be a low uh just standard low from it as well so you can add that in on top of everything that you're doing from the cross-ups uh to the uh shoulder tackle so just another option that you can utilize then of course this is the a version we're talking about the b version is actually a cross-up so not only are you going to be able to cross back up uh you're still gonna have all the options that you had before along with this so put this along with the ability to cross people up really fast and you have some really dirty stuff that this character can actually utilize as you can see so it can get pretty tricky pretty fast uh with the things that you could do now talking about 214 the 214 is just going to be like a standard like straight punch um this can be charged up and it has armor when you charge it up so if opponent is trying to disrespect this tool you just put the armor on it and you're good to go as long as the armor actually gets in there then she has her 22a series um these are going to be stumps now she can actually charge these as well or not charge them but the b version is going to be something that's going to be plus for you she can charge the c version of it uh which is the one she can charge but if you do this this is actually going to be one that's going to have a little bit of plus frames uh tied to it so you can try to do this uh to like you know reset pressure a little bit uh see if your opponent is going to react to you and stuff like that and use it as such this character also has a dp motion so this is going to be a sort of command dash overhead attack so it has a bunch of kicks that go with it and if it hits you can pick it up for a combo as well and it's considered airborne so because she's airborne from it you can do her air super so she has kick super and she has uh this drop super as well which is one of the air specials we're going to talk about in just a second but talking more about what we we're just talking about the A version of it is actually a DP. So on top of all the mix-ups that we were talking about she has, she has a DP on top of this. On top of having the unique ability to combo from her throw anywhere. Unlike Arquaid who has to be in the corner, this character can combo from her throw no matter where she is on the screen. So as long as she gets a throw, she gets a combo, uh, including the corner as well. So another unique thing about this character right there. So DP throw combos and all the mix-ups that we were just talking about now she has her air special moves this is going to be a uh people's elbow as people like to call it right um so this is going to be an overhead attack as you can see right here uh it actually i don't know if it actually does cross up but it can hit cross up as you can see but i don't know if it actually counts as a cross up attack uh you can use this in conjunction with uh, like her overhead attack so if you're going for like an instant air dash say something like this on your opponent you can mix them up with something like that and then go into like a super from it once it actually bounced they can get some extra damage on top of that to get a hard knockdown or something like that then there is the uh, actual kick super uh or special move um this is something you can use especially some combos like if you hit with this move uh that we we're talking about the the dp motion uh if you use the kick super uh from that on an actual hit it'll wall bounce the opponent near the wall and you can also pick that up for a combo as well so this character has a lot of different mix-up opportunities that they can utilize such as the um overheads and the side switches and of course the uh, dash through and all of the above that we were just talking about along with abilities to create her own plus frames throws and a dp to boot it all on top so now to talk about the maid separately so hisui is going to be a character with decent normal she's going to have some zoning and some set play to boot as well so let's go ahead and talk about what made this character so good uh she has this j2b series right here this is going to basically be a move she could do off her jb and it allows her to do multiple hits like that so she could do a bunch of different air dashes and stuff which makes it scary for when she actually start doing her set play which is going to be her 2-2-a uh this is going to allow her to set down the bento box 
so after i knocked down with this character she can set up a bento box and they had the pony has to deal with it right away or she can put it behind to where you can start doing pressure and then they have to deal with it at a later time once you uh, push them into it so she has that going on for her she also has some unique things like an unblockable attack which is going to be from her 4b which could also be a little bit scary because they don't know if you're going to do this since it's from a normal or are you going to cancel into another normal at a delayed timing so they have to worry about that type of thing as well so talking a little bit how her zoning works in her 214 series she has the 214a which is going to give out a random projectile or random household item that she's going to throw out the opponent this is going to change in speed and how far it goes and how high it goes depending on what item you actually get you just got to keep this in mind as far as how this actually works now when it comes to 214b it throws out two random items and depending on which two you get depends on what exactly happens on the screen so sometimes you'll get one that goes high or one goes really fast and sometimes you're just going to get two of them that just go really fast or one that just goes very fast and one that goes really high and stuff like that so it could be pretty annoying for the opponent to deal with all these types of options on top of this she has these clouds that can also just hover around while you're doing this as well so maybe you want to just throw out the a but you want to cover the air so you wasn't sure so you want to do this instead so you know you just throwing out items making sure you're covering your blind spots and stuff like that making it hard for your opponent to get in now this dust cloud can also be used as a uh, block string so you can use it in block strings to like create plus frames for yourself and you can go for the uh, shenanigans that we were talking about with the j2b earlier uh with the multiple overheads and stuff like that so it's really good when you add all this stuff together to top things off for this character she also has a dive kick now this dive kick can be plus if you hit uh really low to it so if you hit like below the knees you can make this also plus and she has this ladle move right here this move can also be made plus when it's actually done uh if the opponent doesn't like stand up especially if the opponent doesn't stand up on it so if you're doing stuff like the uh series that we were talking about something like this it could be pretty hard for the opponent to deal with this and uh you could pretty much make this a true block string uh if you don't deal with it appropriately so if you don't stand up on it you can really make this into something that's hard to deal with even if you stand up on it uh it could be kind of hard to deal with sometimes too last couple of noticeable normals for she's going to have this giant jc in the air there's going to be a very good air to ground attack for her uh very very big attack when it comes to uh her air to ground normals she also has this charge 5c now this isn't armored or anything but it does go really far really fast so this can catch opponents off guard and then she has her 6c series which is going to be the frying pan when it actually hits in the corner you can actually pick it up for a combo if they are high enough just like this so just keep this in mind that she has these options as well on top of all the set play the zoning and the decent normals that we were just talking about so kahaku is going to be a character that sells with long range buttons and of course plant oki so let's go and talk about the strengths of this character so right after the bat, you're going to notice that she has some pretty far-reaching normals, starting with her 5B, uh, pretty far. Then, of course, her 2B is going to be this two-hitting normal uh, that goes pretty far as well. Uh, 5C, the first hit is okay. 2C goes amazingly far. And, of course, her air buttons go really far as well. So she has a pretty long air dash, as you can see, very, very long. But you can cancel it with buttons. And when you do it really low to the ground, it can be very potent because of how far the buttons actually hit. So you can see the range that she's actually hitting with these buttons at um very far and of course her jc is going to be a very good jump in it can hit very high and still give her a combo as you can see so hitting with it pretty high in the air still giving you combos very very strong tool now talking about some of this character's special moves she's going to have the 236 series which is going to be her katana moves as you can see so these are going to be uh some slashes and they have follow-ups so with the follow-up it knocks them in the air and you can actually follow that up with a jump cancel to get a combo uh, one thing strong thing to do about that is using her jc in conjunction with this because this allows you to basically do a re-jump combo so you can actually bring them back down to the ground that way you can actually launch them again or you can make sure you end the combo on the ground with this super and that way you can set up plant oki to actually start doing some crazy mix-ups with this character so once you start putting them in the blender with this uh you can start going for of course overhead you can go for lows you can uh do all sorts of things you could do the air uh, jump back series and stuff act like you're about to go for something and do something like this so there's all types of things you could try to do to open up your opponent once you have them on block with that now of course that is going to be the b version of her 222 series and then she's going to have the 22a which is going to be like just the drill that goes up so not really going to be used to oki 
but you also have access to the ex version of oki which is going to be the johnny plant which is going to shoot out a couple of fireballs so make sure your opponent actually doesn't jump over this because if they do the plant won't auto correct so just keep that in mind talking more about her 236 series so if you do a charge attack for this this is actually going to cause a faint and if you do the charge version for the b it's actually going to cause like a wall bound so you can actually pick up for a combo if you actually do the charge b version her 214 series is going to be the molotov toss now this is going to be something that you have to manually input the molotov itself once you actually start moving uh both for the a and b version uh so you just have to keep that in mind now the molotov does have a hitbox for the way when it drops down and when it actually hits the floor so it's going to be two hitboxes there and if you do it correctly you can actually pick this up for a combo opportunity as well so it could be a pretty uh tricky situation for your opponent especially since it gains invincibility at a certain point so your opponent can't no longer hit you when you're in that state you can also do this in the air but she automatically does the molotov so you got to make sure you know the distance so you can actually drop it on the opponent at the right time so you can actually get the combo because if you don't then of course it won't get both hits you'll probably just get one hit and it'll be a little bit harder for you to actually get the combo at that point now because this is a basic overview we haven't really talked about the moon skills of certain characters but i do feel like she has one very specific one that i definitely want to talk about and that is going to be the cactus punch plant that she can actually utilize so this is going to be another good oki tool that you can actually utilize that you can set up and it's going to do a bunch of hits just like that so you can set this up as well um this is going to be just be another good oki tool that you actually uh use at your disposal just try to open up your opponent with the other options that we said before like i said the jump ins or going for the low attacks like that going for throws act like you're going for something and backdash and stuff like that so you got a couple of things that you're supposed to that you can actually do red arcade is going to be a character that sells in tricky movement and good space control so right off the bat, you're going to notice that she has some similarities when it comes to regular Arcway. So uh, she's going to have really good JA, she's going to have that good JB, and then she also has a really good JC and that really crazy fast run speed that Arcway also has. Also, just like Arcway, she has the ability to combo in the corner. So you can imagine with that fast run speed, the tick throws are going to be very good for this character. Also, to help her movement even more, she has the ability to do teleports. So with the teleports, she can act like she's going to the other side uh, with a feint, uh, which would go a little bit uh, further. And then she has one that actually costs up. And then she has the EX, which is actually a command grab. So these teleports can actually be charged and it changes what actually happens to them. So if we do the charge for the A version, you see she stays in front and she is actually airborne. If we do the B version, she goes behind and is airborne. So you change the property of what is happening based on all this so with the fact that she has these tricky movements like this you can do this and she's very fast uh, she has very good air buttons along with a fast dash speed and you tackle that along with what makes this character very special and that is having fireballs not only on the ground but also in the air so her ability to space control with her normals to basically move around the screen how she pleases and be able to throw out quick fireballs are very very good uh, she can move very fast after the a version uh is very very plus as well and her ability to confirm these situations are really good because of her full screen super version of it and of course her full screen arc drive Both of these will give you a hard knockdown and it'll let you set up for some crazy situations. So because of all these options, along with having an air fireball, which means she has an EX fireball, then she can start doing setups along with her teleport, such as this. You can also just go low with it as well. just like that so you can make it pretty tricky and because of the other teleport staying on the same side you can make it a left right high low on top of all this she's going to have a few armored moves mainly her 5b and her 5c are going to be the ones you're going to use but she also has armor on her j2c which don't see much use but could probably have some uses later on her 236 series is a pillar which can also be jump cancel on the b version but pick up for a combo her 6c is a unique attack that goes through opponents such as this but it actually doesn't cross up but it can be used for certain confirms such as this 
Her 60 is a unique attack that goes through the opponent, but doesn't actually count as a cross up, but it can be used for certain confirms, such as this. To top this all off, her invincible command grab super side switches, and you can pick it up for a combo. And lastly, Saber, a great mid-range fighter with some good mobility options, the ability to create her own plush frames, a few mix-ups, and of course some utility supers so she can extend her combo damage as well. Let's go and talk about what makes Saber so great. So Saber has a really good auto combo that allows her to convert anywhere off the screen thanks to her 623 series, which allows her to jump cancel this uppercut move that she does. So because of this, she can get great confirms just like that. Um, pretty much anywhere on the screen she hits She also has this lunging move right here that can pick up very easily as well. You could change the Combo that you do ever so slightly So because of the auto combo it allows her to get confirms that she wouldn't normally be able to get because of the range that it covers Because there's times where you're going to be spacing out with like her 5b But the 5c won't hit nor will the 2c hit there's ranges where the 2c won't hit as well So you have to keep that in mind that sometimes you'll just hit a dead zone and this will protect you against that Still allow you to get a confirm and some good damage to boot as well along with it talking about the other options she has she has the ability to do a Rekka series this Rekka series basically has uh three follow-ups you can do you can change the directions to get different things so the second hit can become a low and the third hit can become an overhead so not really a mix-up since it's telegraph exactly when the low and overhead will come but it's something that can catch your opponent off guard if they don't know what's happening now to talk about her 214 series, which is going to be her sway dash. So her 214A is where she sway backwards and she come in with an attack. This attack isn't an overhead, but it is plus. It knocks the opponent up in the air. So if they block it and they land on the ground, it is still your turn. The 214B version of it is going to be a low attack. If you hit your opponent with this, you're going to be able to pick this up for a combo and do some damage and of course get a setup from there. Now, both of her 214s have charges to them, and they are both going to be feints. So the 214A is going to sway backwards for a feint, and this one is going to sway forward for a feint when it comes to the 214B. Now, the other good thing about these is they actually go under certain projectiles. So if the projectile is high enough, she'll be able to clash and go through it. This will allow her to get a chance to come in or potentially sometimes even get a punish, depending on the type of projectile used. So it's going to be very good to deal with certain things like this. Um, just closing the distance so she can start getting in to run her game plan. Also, because of how the sways work, you can actually use them in conjunction with her auto combo, depending on how your opponent tech, to actually go for a cross-up situation. Just like that. On top of everything we talked about, she also have a dive kick. Just like the other dive kicks we talked about, if it hit below the knees, this can also be plus as well. Also, the V version, if it connects, also allows you to get a combo as well. just like that now as i mentioned she also has a bunch of utility supers that help her extend her combo damage for example she has the 214c which is going to give her a bounce this will allow you to just juggle the opponent and pick up for a combo as well she also has a unique attack that doesn't have any other special moves which is her 22c which is going to be a giant win attack you can follow this up pretty much with anything as long as you're able to get to the opponent in time Now her 236C is actually going to have a launcher follow-up automatically tied to it. So it's automatically going to launch it to the air and you can just pick it up for a combo just like that. The only ground super she has that you're not going to follow from is going to be her invincible super, which is going to be the DP one. On top of all this, she also has a full screen arc drive. This will allow her to punish certain tools that she have a hard time punishing before getting in. And to top it all off, she also has a second arc drive super that even counters people trying to throw her. And that pretty much sums up my character overview. I hope you guys found this useful and hopefully it helps you find your character that you want to play inside Melty Blood type Luna. Anyway, if you like anything I had to say, drop me a like or greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, follow me on my socials. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know the next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin and I'll see you next time. Signing out.